Twas the night before Christmas, and in Ape Graphic Land, snow had fallen except for Sarasaland. The first and second players were all in their beds, while visions of power ups danced in their heads. With Yoida in her PJs and Glurp in his cap, all had settled down for a long winter's nap. When outside the castle arose such a clatter, I sprang from sleep mode to see what was the matter. Not needing a peewing, I flew like a flash, though I should have used a cheat code to do a spin dash. And the three-up moon shined on the new fallen snow, almost as bright as the angry sun, you know. Well, what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a Cooper clown car and goombas everywhere. With a not-so-small driver who had a wand, not a stick, I knew in a moment this can't be Saint Nick. More rapid than quick man or flash man he came, and whistled and shouted and roared them by name. Now Goombario, now Squishy, now Toe Jam and L, on Basher, on Gloomy, on Heat and Pearl. To the top of the castle, jump over the wall, now bounce away, jump away, fly away all! As leaves that make the Mario Bros fly, all they stomp to Cape Cooper, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the Goombas they flew, with the clown car full of toys, and Santa Bowser too. And then like a power block thumping, I heard a boom, the Garibo shoes and boots above my room. As I pulled out a Wemo and read it a pound, down the chimney the King of Koopas came with a bound. He was dressed in all red and white from his crown to his boot, and his clothes were all tarnished with asses and suit. A bundle of bombs he had flung on his back, and he looked ready to do what he does with said pack. His spikes in his tail to scare was his mood, but believe me, this fake, what a noob. The teeth in his grin he couldn't wait to show, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a scaly face and was as big as a load, that shook when he laughed, more annoying than toad. He was chubby and plump, a right pain in the tail, and I laughed when I saw him, knowing he would fail. With a wink of his eye, he readied his task. Using my game genie, a potion appeared in a flask. He spoke not a word, knowing he was caught. His efforts were useless, even if he fought. Throwing the potion, a door did appear. I booted him in, and he was sent to who knows where. We were safe, at least for now. Santa or not, no Coopers, no how. Now that he's gone, for good, all right. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Really, Hank?